so here are some Auto City basics to get you started. Uh, first of all, you should probably go to Edit and then Preferences or just click uh, Control P or do Control P. Import and Export, you're going to want to check out these settings. Uh, you might want to change them depending on the project that you're working on and maybe you have different preferences uh, in terms of your defaults. Another good one is Directories and you can control the location of your temporary files here. Keyboard. Here you can see all the keyboard shortcuts, so if you want to create some new ones or remap them, this is a great place uh, to spend some time and to learn all your keyboard shortcut. And we'll click over here to libraries. If you're going to do any kind of uh, MP3 exporting, so you want to create some MP3 uh, files, you'll um, need that uh, codec. So you'll have to go to um, download and it'll open up your browser and it'll take you to this page here how to download and install the encoder so basically you'll click on this link here and if you have any problems you go into the troubleshooting section here and basically they're telling you to right click and choose a slightly older version than the one provided up here on this page here uh, so when I clicked on the link it takes me to this page you don't want to click on the banner over here or download this here that's not what you want you want to scroll down over here and this is the one uh, so you just right click on this and choose save link as and then I'm actually going to save it to my downloads folder okay and then uh, we'll go to our Explorer window over here and uh, let's see here downloads so here's the file right here we'll go ahead and run it, it wants me to close all applications so mine's already installed. I'll go ahead and, and skip ahead. Okay, so we've skipped ahead, went ahead and opened up uh, Audacity, Audacity, excuse me. Again, we'll click, uh, you can see it's installed right here, and we'll click OK. So we've got some navigation shortcuts um, from anywhere here within the, uh, the track. I can hit uh, Home, and it'll bring my selector bar to Home. Uh, if I hit the end, it'll take me all the way here to the end. Um, if I'm in the middle of track or at a particular point in the track, um, I can simply hit Shift Home and it'll highlight or select anything from that point all the way back home. Shift End, as you can see, went from that point all the way to the end. So if I was sitting right here and hadn't hit Shift Home first, Shift End takes me right there and it selects everything to the end. From there, once you've selected something, you can apply effects, you can delete sections. For instance, just by hitting the delete key, it's gone. So we'll just do a control Z to undo that. You can also preview from any place where you're at just by hitting the space bar. And then you can pause by hitting it again. Or you can simply pause by hitting P. And you can see it triggers the pause up here. So you've got your standard navigation buttons right up here. You go to the starting, play, record, pause, stop, and then skip to the end. Some of these are dimmed if you're already in the play mode. So you can see here I can go right to the, the beginning and right to the end there. I can also move around just by uh, moving my right or left arrow key. You can see it's moving my selection point around. If I held the shift key down and used the right or left arrow, it actually starts to select, make a selection there. Just clicking anywhere else just unselects. Uh, the shortcut for uh, recording, you could hit the record button or just uh, simply click or press R, I meant to say. I can make a selection, and if I just want to keep that selection and eliminate everything before and after it, you can do Control T for trim and uh, go ahead down here and remove audio and select trim so we'll just do a control T and there we go so we'll just undo that control Z something you'll be doing a lot of is zooming in and out of the track to find uh, exact points that you want to do your editing in you can go up here to the toolbar and, and zoom in that way or you can zoom out another way of doing it is control 1 for zoom in, control 3 to zoom out, um, control F basically fits it to the window. So an example of that would be let's just kind of zoom in and, 
and you can see the more I zoom in I can start to see um, places where the audio goes uh, way down or, or possibly even to nothing um, and then you've got your scroll bar down here and you can move around in the project here. I can also scroll left or right by holding the shift key down and then using the mouse wheel so you can see it it's shifting if you look at the time up here as I scroll probably not zoomed in quite enough so let's go ahead and zoom in some more and you can see that I'm scrolling through here another thing you can do let's go ahead and fit to window um, is the control in the mouse button and that allows you to zoom in if I had several tracks um, and didn't use the controller shift button and just use the mouse wheel it would actually scroll through the tracks here there would be a scroll bar as you can see right here you can create a selection and actually duplicate that selection by hitting control D and you can see it creates another track down here with only that selection on it um, and then I'm free to make enhancements or edit it whatever I'd like to do a cool feature here is if I go up here to the uh, time shift tool or hit F5 I can actually grab this and shift it around here on the timeline track so I can bring it all the way back to the beginning if I wanted so let's say I wanted to zoom out so let's do control F and we'll just grab this and bring it all the way back to the beginning now if I drag it too far you can see a little arrow appears right up here indicating that I went beyond the actual starting position. I can also mute a particular track so if I'm trying to preview one track and I don't want to hear the other one um, I can go ahead and mute that and now when I go to play um, let's see here I have to get back to this mode here the selection tool we have to go back home and then I can go ahead and hit play and it's not playing this one here it's actually you're hearing this one down here so let's go ahead and stop that another key we could do is uh, let's do our control F to make sure we fit to window and we can do a control I and that's our split so now if we wanted to change over to our time shift tool we could grab this and as you can see it's been split right there so control Z twice you can also make a selection and do your control plus alt plus X and that deletes that selection and then of course I could go up here to my time shift and grab this and then just slide it right over there switch back to my selection tool and I've done a nice cutout and then join these two together here's a few audio uh, tips we're going to use our envelope tool we'll click on that and if I'm anywhere here on the track and I just click with the left mouse button and drag downwards you can see I'm reducing the volume of the entire track left and right channels so we'll control Z to undo that uh, let's say you have a section that you just want to reduce the volume for so let's go ahead and zoom into that so we'll do our selection tool go to this point here uh, control 1 to zoom in there we go and then we're going to do our volume envelope and you're going to click right over here at the starting point and then just to the right of that a little bit you're going to click again you can see it's inserting these uh, marks here and then right after the the section that we wanted to reduce the volume we're going to click to the outside there and then go to the left just to the inside and click again it'll put another set of marks I can grab those and then just drag that down you can see it's it's reducing the volume it's gonna fade it down there we go and grab this one over here that I had already put into place and you can see it's kind of a jagged line right here so when that line becomes straight you know it's it's an even uh, even point there if I can there it is it's always best to zoom in uh, and I'll show you why with this envelope tool if I click here and then attempt to click right next to it you can see I'm not over far enough so I gotta get over enough to be able to to uh, insert those points and then the same thing over here if I try to insert a set too close to it you can see 
what happens I get not the result that I'm looking for so I've got to move over just a little bit and now I can insert my envelope points and move them downwards let's control Z uh, switch over to our selection tool I can just keep hitting undo here I can also make a selection here and then go up to the menu effects menu and choose fade in and you can see that we're going to get a little fade in there and then effect and fade out and so that's a nice fade in and fade out effect like we had just done with the envelope tool so that's it for our basic tips I snuck in some advanced ones uh, as a little bonus so enjoy <laughs>